the all-time great Green Bay Packers, the franchise that calls themselves Title Town, the all-time great Chicago Bears, the franchise that is as tough as their hard-nosed defense. Welcome to Soldier Field in Chicago for the opening game of the BTFL Season 3. This is Hank with the PR52 YouTube channel, and I am bringing you the first game of the season for the BTFL Season 3 with the all-time great Packers and all-time great Bears. The longest living rivalry in the history of the NFL. And now we've got the coin toss between the Packers and Bears. Packers call heads. They will elect to receive. Kevin Butler is the kicker for the Chicago Bears. All-time great. He will kick off from the 35 of Chicago. And he will kick off to Antonio Freeman at the 18-yard line. He will return it six yards to the Green Bay 24. First and 10 for the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers would hand the ball off to starter Amon Green for a gain of three. Second and seven from the 27. Aaron Rodgers is sacked by Richard Dent, who was a great player in the Super Bowl that the Bears won in 85. Third and 12 for the Packers at the 22. Aaron Rodgers would play action, roll out. He would gun it deep to James Lofton. Perfect pass, jumping catch. For a gain of 48 to the Chicago 30, a lot went into who the quarterback of the all-time great Packers would be, and it ended up being Aaron Rodgers. Pa toss right to Amon Green for a gain of four. Second and six. Aaron Rodgers back. Pressure in his face. He would drill it right to James Lofton. Grabbing the ball for the touchdown. First points of the game for the Packers. And everybody in the BTFL Season 3 as Ryan Longwell will attempt the extra point. It is up, and it is good. 3 minutes and 28 seconds in the first quarter. Packers already on the board. Ryan Longwell would kick off deep to newly minted Hall of Famer Devin Hester who takes it from the Chicago 17 to the Chicago 22 for a gain of 5. First and 10 at the 22. And Jim McMahon is sacked by Willie Wood for a loss of nine to the Chicago 13. Second and 19 from the Chicago 13 as Jim McMahon is sacked again, this time by the Minister of Defense Reggie White for a loss of four to the nine of Chicago. Third and 23, Jim McMahon, play action. Nobody in his face. He throws an interception to Leroy Butler, but Leroy Butler fumbles. And the ball is recovered by Henry Jordan, who gets the Packers inside the 10-yard line. Good field position for Aaron Rodgers. At the 8-yard line, Aaron Rodgers play actions. He's got a guy wide open, but the ball is intercepted by Mark Carrier. Uncharacteristic of Aaron Rodgers throwing interceptions. He does not usually do that. First and 10 at the 20. McMahon play action. Rolls out. He throws it deep. Down the left side to Brandon Marshall. He's wide open to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. The Chicago Bears get on the board, and they are down by one. They can tie this game if Kevin Butler can kick the extra point. And the aforementioned extra point is hold it. It is up, and it is good. The game is tied at 7. With a little over a minute left to go in the first quarter, Kevin Butler kicks off to Antonio Friedman. And Friedman collects it at the 10, and he will return it to the 24 for a gain of 14. 46 seconds left, first and 10. Aaron Rodgers would back up in the single back formation. He would throw it over the middle to Amon Green, and that's a gain of 7. And Amon Green, the starting running back for the Packers, is injured. Very good in the modern era. Probably the best Packers running back in the modern era. He would be spelled by Paul Hornig, who was a Hall of Fame running back for the Green Bay Packers early in the history of the Super Bowl. Hornig would take the ball to the left. He would gain one yard. It is third and two with 11 seconds left. Rodgers, the handoff to Hornig. 
And I don't think he made it. I think that he's about a half a yard short, and that would end the first quarter. Second quarter, we will have a punt. Craig Hentrich is back, and he would punt it off. All the way to Devin Hester waiting at the 6-yard line to the 20, to the 25, 30. He is down to the 32-yard line for a gain of 26. Tie ball game, 419, first and 10 at the Chicago 32. Pass is thrown. Ball is intended for the coach, Mike Dicka, and it is incomplete. Second down and 10. Four minutes and seven seconds. McMahon, play action rollout. Got pressure in his face. He would fire off a pass to Brandon Marshall. He jumps to make the catch, and he avoids the corner who eventually tax tackles him at around the 17-yard line. First and 10 for the Bears. McMahon, he is sacked by Dave Robinson for a loss of 9 to the 26. Second and 19, 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Split backfield. Jim McMahon backs up. He fires down the right side, and it's caught by Alshon Jeffrey for the touchdown. Bears take a six-point lead, can take a seven-point lead if Kevin Butler can knock in this extra point. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Bears take a seven-point lead, and Kevin Butler will kick off from the 35-yard line of the Bears collected by Antonio Friedman at the Green Bay 14 and he gets to the 23 for a gain of 9. First and 10 for the Packers who scored first but they haven't scored since. Pass on the left side to Sterling Sharp. He's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 23. 2 minutes and 35 seconds left. Rodgers back. Surveys the field. Fires left and it is incomplete again in intended for Sterling Sharp. Third and 10 from the Green Bay 23. Aaron Rodgers play action rolls out. No pressure in his face. Throws it to the left side across his body to Paul Hornig. And Paul Hornig makes it to around the 40-yard line. That there was a huge pass from Aaron Rodgers to Paul Hornig for a gain of 37. Timeout called by the Packers. That's their first. First and 10 for the Packers. And Aaron Rodgers looks like he's going to run this play again, except he throws it to Bob Kramer to the 24-yard line for a gain of 16 the Packers will call yet another timeout first and 10 at the 24 and motion man Paul Hornig would run it down the right side for a gain of six to the Bears 18 final timeout is called by the Packers a minute seven seconds left second and four and Paul Hornig runs it up the middle for no gain less than a minute third and four at the Chicago 18 Aaron Rodgers, perfect pocket, throws it down the right side again, and a dazzling pass is caught by James Lofton, and the Packers have a chance to tie this game if Ryan Longwell can make this extra point. Ball is spotted, kick is away, and it's good. Ryan Longwell will kick it off from the 35 of the Packers. And he will kick it off yet again to Devin Hester. Devin Hester will retrieve it at the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 30. He makes it just shy of the 35-yard line. First and 10, 17 seconds left at the Chicago 34. McMahon would play action, survey the field, and the ball is incomplete intended for Brandon Marshall. That one could have been intercepted. One second left in this game, and the ball is handed off to Walter Payton, and he loses six. The game is tied at halftime 14 all. Quarterbacks have been doing really well. The running game has been very porous here. And we are going to leave Soldier Field for the halftime show, which will be recorded by me, PR52. This halftime show will include highlights that you have seen in the game, and I hope to see you all in the second half. All-time great Packers and Bears. We'll start off with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Future Hall of Famer. Play action rollout bootlegging. Favorite play of the game. Showing he's been doing this his whole career. He'll throw it deep to James Lofton. Jumping catch at the 30. A few plays later. 
Aaron Rodgers would find the aforementioned James Lofton in the right corner of the field, and he's got the touchdown. 7 to nothing for the Packers starting off. They draw first blood. Super trippy turnover play here as Jim McMahon would find Leroy Butler on the interception over the middle, but he would fumble the ball. Ball would be recovered by Henry Jordan. And right on the next play, super uncharacteristic of Aaron Rodgers, he would play action, find an open receiver, but it would be intercepted by Mark Carrier on a great play by the safety. And then Jim McMahon would take over on the next drive, throwing it deep to Brandon Marshall. And he could go all the way and he would not be caught today. Brandon Marshall, first blood for the Bears. The Bears would take over on their next drive as Brandon Marshall would catch yet another pass down the left side. And then the Bears would finish this drive off after a sack to Alshon Jeffrey for the touchdown. Bears take a 14-7 lead. Now right before the end of the half, Aaron Rodgers would get cooking. Play action rollout. Fire down the left side to Paul Hornig after Amon Green would come out of the game due to an injury down to the 40-yard line. And then Aaron Rodgers inside of the Bears red zone would find for the second time today for the touchdown, James Lofton. And the Bears and the Packers would be tied 14 to nothing. Welcome back to Soldier Field for the game between the Packers and the Bears. All-time greats. Ryan Longwell will kick this ball off to start the third quarter and he will kick it off to Devin Hester waiting at the end line of his own end zone and he will take it out seven yards to the Chicago 7. First and 10 at the Chicago 7. McMahon waiting in the pocket, throws it over the middle, incomplete over the middle to Brandon Marshall. Second and 10 at the Chicago 7, four minutes and 24 seconds in the shotgun. McMahon would throw incomplete, dangerous pass intended for Walter Payton. That could have been intercepted. Third and 10 at the Chicago 7. Jim McMahon in the shotgun. The ball is incomplete, intended for Brandon Marshall over the middle, tipped by the Packers. Fourth and 10 from the Chicago 7. B.J. Green punts all the way to the man waiting for the ball, Antonio Freeman at the Green Bay 32 and he would return it to the Green Bay 38 for a gain of six. First crack at it for the Packers and Aaron Rodgers in the second half. Aaron Rodgers back, shoots it right to James Lofton, and he is double covered. That's incomplete. Two touchdown passes for James Lofton in this game in the first half. Let's see what he can do more. Aaron Rodgers steps up, and he would complete a pass to James Lofton. And that pass would go to the Chicago 40. Two minutes and 53 seconds as Rodgers would throw the ball to Devontae Adams. And Devontae Adams makes it to around the 15-yard line for a gain of 25. First and 10 for the Packers in the red zone. Rodgers would play action. He would throw it left to Hornig, and that's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 15 of Chicago. Inside the red zone. As Aaron Rodgers is sacked by Richard Dent. Second sack of the game for Dent. Loss of five to the Chicago 20. Third and 15 at the 20. Aaron Rodgers play action rollout. He, this is a play he likes to run. He will throw it to Bob Kramer. And Bob Kramer, he just makes the first down. Great job by Aaron Rodgers. That was a gain of about 15 yards. First and goal at the five. And Paul Hornig, he loses five to the Chicago 10. Second and goal at the 10. And Aaron Rodgers is sacked this time by Hall of Famer Mike Singletary. And that play was a loss of eight to the 18. So the Packers just keep going backwards. Third and goal at the 18. Aaron Rodgers, no pressure in his face. Well, the pressure shows up and he throws incomplete over the middle to Kramer. That would not have gone for a first down. That would have still been short. Field goal attempt by Ryan Longwell. The 36-yard field goal is up, and it doinks off the uprights, and it's good. Packers take a lead, 17-14. to 14. They've scored 10 consecutive points. Longwell kicks off again to Devin Hester, waiting in his own end zone, and he gets the 11. He coughs the ball up. It's a fumble. Mad dash for the ball. 
Brandon Marshall was Johnny on the spot as he recovers it. 34 seconds, first and 10, Jim McMahon, play actions. He rolls out to the left. Not much running here by the Bears, which was their bread and butter. And that pass goes over the right side. Speaking of which, sweetness, Walter Payton with that big catch for a gain of 49. Excuse me, 41 to the 48 of Green Bay. And that was a run by Walter Payton for a loss of four. It would be second and 14. Starting the fourth quarter, we have five minutes to see who's going to win this game. Jim McMahon, play action. He's incomplete, intended for Gale Sayers. Third and 14 at the 48. And Jim McMahon is sacked by Willie Wood. Second sack of the game, loss of seven to the 41 of Chicago. Fourth and 21. And B.J. Green would punt off to Antonio Freeman. He'd be waiting in his end zone. And that would go for a touchback. Packers have the ball up by three. First and ten at the 20. And Rodgers would hand the ball off to Paul Hornig. He would gain four yards. Ball's on the ground. And it's recovered by Hall of Famer Brian Erlacher. And he would go to the five. And he's in the end zone for the touchdown. Putting the Bears up. In this game, they have a three-point lead. They might have a four-point lead pending the extra point. As Kevin Butler, he lines up for this extra point. The ball is up, and it is good. That was a play that the Packers could not have. The Bears have a staunch defense. Records the fumble of Hall of Famer Paul Hornig. Recovered by Brian Urlacher. Kickoff by Butler to Freeman at the one. He would return it to around the 10 or 11. First and 10 at the 11, and the handoff would go to Paul Hornick, and he runs right for a, no gain. Second and 10 at the 11, as Paul Hornick would take another handoff, and this time he would get a gain of three, and he fumbles again, but the ball goes out of bounds. This is a third and seven at the 14 of Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers would play action pass, he would dart it to Sterling Sharp over the middle. That's his first catch of the game. He makes it to around the 45 or 46. And the Packers would call a timeout. First and 10 at the 46 of Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, another play-action rollout, his favorite play of this game. Pressure in his face, throws it down the right side. The ball is tipped. Pass was intended for James Loft, and it's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 46 of Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers would hand the ball off to Hornig, and Hornig gains about one. It's a third down, and the Packers call another timeout. Third down and nine. Aaron Rodgers play actions. He fires it over the middle. Intercepted by Mark Carrier. Second interception of the game for the Chicago Bears. Safety, Mark Carrier. First and ten at the 42 as the Bears take over. Walter Payton takes it down the left side. He runs the ball for nine. That's the longest run of the game for the Chicago Bears. Second and one at the 49. Direct snap to Walter Payton, and he would gain seven yards right there to around the 43-yard line. Walter Payton is keeping it going. Sweetness. We got a first and ten. Another direct snap to Walter Payton. He would run it up the middle, and he would gain about 11. He's just a... He's just steaming down the tracks. Walter Payton is first and 10 at the 32 of the Packers. McMahon throws over the middle to Mike Ditka. Excuse me, left side. And the ball is incomplete. Second and 10 at the 32 of the Packers. With 17 seconds left, they just need to run the ball to ice the game. Walter Payton down the left side, and he is tackled after a gain of six. There's one second left in this game. They just need to kneel it down. And the direct snap would go to Walter Payton. He goes up the middle for a gain of four. The first down. And the Chicago Bears, all-time greats, they win this game 21-17 in a very close game on opening day of the BTFL Season 3. This is Hank from the PR52 YouTube channel signing off from Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois. I hope everybody has a very nice day, and we will get to the post-game show with the post-game highlights from the all-time great Green Bay Packers game against the all-time great Chicago Bears. 
And now for the highlights of the second half, Bears and Packers. The Packers would be having the ball at the end of the third quarter. Game is still tied as James Lofton would catch another pass from Aaron Rodgers to the 40-yard line. And with this, Aaron Rodgers, pressure in his face, gives it to Devontae Adams. First catch of the game to around the 16-yard line. But Aaron Rodgers and the Packers would only go backwards. First, he gets sacked by Hall of Famer Mike Singletary. And then he would be sacked again to around the 18. However, Ryan Longwell would add this field goal. It was up. Doink off the uprights. It was good. Packers would find their way to get the ball back at around the 20-yard line. Up by three. Aaron Rodgers hands the ball off to Paul Hornick for four-yard line. Ball is on the turf. It's a fumble. Ball is recovered by Hall of Famer Brian Erlacher. And he rumbles, bumbles, and stumbles into the end zone to take the four-point lead for the Bears. Last-ditch effort for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers play actions. Looks down the field to Bob Kramer. It's intercepted again by Mark Carrier. And the Bears would win this game 21-17 to over the Packers in a very good showdown for the oldest rivalry in NFL history.